Well, good morning, world. And uh, in case I miss it uh, by a minute or two, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Yeah, I got that from the Truman Show. I know you know. This is Arzu Mountain Spirit. You are listening to Mountain Spirit Speaks. And yes, I still pride us as being the radio show that cares about your natural health and the healing powers inherent in nature. We want to share all of the healing powers that are inherent in nature because you have a right to know. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. And yeah, in this human experience, we relate to plants. We are also sharing this, this platform, this existence with the plant kingdom. And we have an obligation to learn about each other. And this is what Mountain Spirit Speaks is all about. I really wanted from the bottom of my heart to share uh, what comes to me about the plants and from the plants and what my ancestors have shared with me, what my grandmother has taught me, what my great grandmother has taught me, and a lot of the elders and some of the young people too who also come with plant wisdom. I know we ask the uh, older people about natural ways of healing and plant wisdom, but I was really amazed when I went to uh, Orinoco in Nicaragua, where the children had um, almost instinctive wisdom about the plants. Uh, we went to the bush and everybody picked a different plant and they each told me, well, this one is good for stomach ache. And I picked this one because my granny used it to fix my foot. And I picked this one because every time I have a cold or chills, my granny make this for me. So they are watching and they are picking things up. And of course, what all these children had in common is that all of their elders that they were talking about, that they had picked up this knowledge from, were no longer alive. And that's what I found mostly amazing, that unless we ask, unless we ask the young people, unless we encourage them to know, they'll have no, no reason for retaining this knowledge. So we have an obligation to keep the knowledge going, to keep the wisdom going uh, for the sake of, of our future and for all humanity. You know, and, and, and as I mentioned before, it, and, and this is something that's really worth remembering, the healthcare system that now governs all of our healthcare is less than 100 years old, really, in terms of maturity, 150 at the most. But we human beings, is that I'm speaking about indigenous people, those we know we were here at least 200,000 years ago. Well, at least that's what science says. I'm not going to argue. So now, this is 200,000 years later. And we're still here, and most of us are healthy. We keep reproducing. We keep existing. We keep living. So the medicine that we used from the beginning, the earth medicine, must be effective. Otherwise, we would not be here. And yes, procreation is extremely important because um, if, when an organism is not healthy, the first thing that happens is the, the procreation, the creativity goes away. The creativity goes away on all levels. It, it goes away mentally. It goes away um, psychologically. It goes away physically. So the creativity is missing. But as we know, the mountain spirit wellness community knows that for every illness, for every disease that humans experience, the creators have delivered a plant. The creators have delivered medicine through the plants for us to heal every single illness that befalls us. So when it comes to creativity on all these levels, one of the plants, we there are several, but today I'm only going to speak about this one. 
And this one is, interestingly enough, it grows throughout Central America. It grows in North America. It's one of those master plants that will grow anywhere in the world. Some places indoors, but most places it will grow outdoors. If you have a frost kind of um, weather where you get a lot of things freezing and falling off, um, then it's better to bring the plant inside. But it will grow in a pot and it gives a gorgeous, beautiful flower. And that plant is called the Damiana. It even has a beautiful name, Damiana. It's really lovely. Um, the Latin name is Turnera diffusa. That's its scientific name. And it is in the aphrodisiaca family. And you see the word aphrodisiac comes from there. Whoa, <laughs> I think I just wrapped my chair. Now, the way we use this plant is by um, taking a tea or making a tincture. It's very easy to make a tea. It's, it's really better to do everything with this plant when it's fresh, when you just pick it. That's why it's really better to have the plant. And then you can just pick it when, whenever you need it. Uh, mostly, it's used by traditional healers. Uh, I know definitely I can speak for the way my great-grandmother used it and the way we use it uh, in, in our uh, villages as Garifuna people. We use it to treat debility and depression and lethargy. It's one of the teas that you would put uh, when you're nursing uh, a mother from postpartum blues or from the, the death, the loss of a child or the loss of a loved one. If someone is not springing back to life um, after they've, they've done the natural mourning, but even during the natural mourning, it's still the kind of tea that you would give someone. It doesn't, it's not going to delete what you feel for your loved ones but it'll put it in a place where you can handle it uh, on all levels and, and process it properly so that you can come out of it and come back to life. And that's how it revitalizes you. That's how it heals you. The plant just holds you and it, and it soothes you while your, your, your wounds are healing, while your spiritual wounds are healing, while you're experiencing the loss of a loved one. This plant goes in there and just holds you. It just holds you. And all you do is drink a tea. It is, um, scientifically, it's a stimulating nerve tonic. So no wonder it, it works um, to heal uh, depression and debility. So we make it into a tonic. You, you can take it with the tea, yes, as a tonic, but you can also take the leaves and just infuse um, a nice brandy or a nice uh, weak solution of, of alcohol and the leaves. Uh, you could also do it with honey. Uh, you could do it with, um, you could do it in an oil and use that oil as a liniment, as we had spoken about before. So um, it, there are many ways um, that you can take it. You can take the whole aerial parts of the plant and carry them in a medicine pouch uh, for energetic medicine. But like we said, it um, it's in the Aphrodisiaca family. Um, so it works for stimulating your, your genitalia, for, for lack of a better term. It enhances your libido. It increases your libido because what this plant does, it's so smart. It directs um, nutrients and blood to your uh, genital areas, to the muscles, uh, the, the nerves in that area. And it's, it's so smart, it totally goes there. But it does something else too. It potentiates any of the other reproductive herbs. So if you're taking a plant or you're on a treatment for whether it's um, endometriosis or fertility, anything to do with the uterus, the womb, the ovaries, the entire female reproductive system. So if you're taking a treatment for balancing any, anything in, in, in any of those organs in that whole area, in that whole system, the addition of the Damiana in that remedy potentiates whatever that remedy is. So if you're taking wild yam, if you're taking saw palmetto, um, chase tree, um, yohimbe, any of those plants, um, black cohosh, any of the ones you can think of that 
are here to help in the procreation of human beings. Any of those plants are friends with the Damiana. They work as a team. So whichever one of the herbs that you have, if you're treating uh, the reproductive area, you can add the Damiana, whether it be two or three drops of the tincture, a cup of tea every day, or just putting the leaves inside uh, the tonic, or just, just adding the consumption of the Damiana medicine to your protocol will completely potentiate whatever remedy you're on for healing the reproductive system. So it's truly a, a wonderful herb and it works the same in men and in women. So it's truly universal. You can also add the Damiana to other tinctures to increase the aphrodisiac effects. Of course, you can take it by itself. You'll take it by itself. Um, it's it's um, regular a teaspoon of herb powder to a cup of hot water. And you would take that maybe a couple of hours before you retire so that you're not engaging in any tense or stressful um, activity. So you're not, you're not driving, you're not chopping wood, you know, you're not at work trying to finish a project. You're home. And maybe you've had dinner already, so there's nothing in your stomach really to interfere with, with the effects um, of the medicine. It works well through food, but it looks, it works better when there's less <laughs> for your uh, other systems to do. So that is the, um, marvelous Damiana. And like I said, the best way to work with this plant is, is to have one for yourself, to cultivate it yourself. So you get yourself a little piece, you get it started. I'm sure there are a lot of places online where you can get, uh, the seeds, uh, don't get the ornamental one. Make sure you get the, um, the proper one. And as it grows, what you'll do is you'll just trim the, the aerial parts, the leaves and the flowers. And you can dry them, but you, you can also take them fresh. You can make your own tincture by taking, uh, if you're doing the dry Damiana leaf, you do one quarter dried leaves and three quarters um, uh, brandy or vodka or a gin. You can, you can add a little water to tone down the, the alcohol. Wow, it's so good to be talking to you today, especially about this plant, because I totally, totally love this plant and I love working with it. It's also good for uh, people who experience anxiety or uh, palpitations, um, anything that makes your system kind of go out of rhythm where it's moving faster than it should. Now, if it's moving slower than it should, that's a whole nother plant. But if your system is going a little bit faster, maybe thoughts are coming too fast, things are happening too fast, um, no time to think, you need to take a little time uh, fix yourself a little cup of Damiana. So if you're wondering what you're listening to, you're listening to Mountain Spirit Speaks. We are the radio show dedicated to your natural health and the healing powers inherent in nature. This is our zoo, Mountain Spirit. Really, really happy to be uh, talking to you today, especially about this wonderful, magical plant. So um, historically, the, the plant has been used to, um, to relax the body. And, and one of the few things that uh, people don't know about uh, the Damiana, and I'm almost reluctant to, to talk about it, but I have to because it's a healer. It's a healer and, and, and that plant exists in this world only to bring you good. So I have to talk about all of the things uh, that the plant is willing to do. So it, it's one of the plants that you can dry the leaves and it can be smoked. There are a lot of therapies that include the smoke of the Damiana. Um, the initial relaxation effects of the Damiana leaves are similar to, to smoking to smoking marijuana, except that Damiana is, is legal. 
and um, it doesn't have toxic effects. Um, it has the same antidepressant qualities of the marijuana. It has the same relaxing effects and includes the uh, stimulating effects as well. So um, that's one of the ways that it is used in therapy. It's also put in, um, in smudges, like when you're smudging a room, uh, especially if you have a group that has a lot of division and hostility within it, and you're doing ceremony for them, you would put Damiana leaves in the uh, smudge, in, in the smoke so that it can fill the air and it has that effect. It works through the element of air. It works with the element of air. And not many herbs that can do that. So Damiana is truly a sacred plant. It definitely works very strongly um, through the spiritual realm and in the spiritual realm. But it also, as science has proven, it also works just as effectively in the physical realm. So um, I, I, I have to ask you to let us know what you think uh, about the show. Please log on to our Facebook page, Mountain Spirit Speaks. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. Now, remember all of the plants that I talk about, you can get shoots, you can get little cuttings, uh, you can get them from me, certainly, but get them from each other. If you find yourself in possession of any of the plants that I'm talking about, if you need to identify them better, just send me a, a picture of the plant that you found. Send it to me on the Facebook page, Mountain Spirit Speaks. Or send it to me in Messenger, uh, to Arzu Mountain Spirit. I'll have a look at it. We can identify the plant for, so that you can be sure that this is what you have. But my advice is start saving the seeds. Share them. The leaves don't last very long once you take them off the plant. But save them, give them to people, share them. The sooner you share them, of course, the better. Shoots, Damiana grows from shoots very, very easily. All you do is, is you cut the tip of any, any of the little branches that are sticking out. Take the, all the bottom leaves out so that you just leave the, the three or four maybe no more than three leaves at the top so that you have mostly stem. And then you stick that stem in water. You put it in there for about a week. And if you put it in a glass container, it's a little bit better. At least I found it's better because you can see the roots coming out. And once you see the little pieces of root coming out, just transfer it very gently uh, into a soil medium and you're gonna get yourself a nice, big, fat, juicy, Damiana plant to nurture you, to relax you, to enhance your libido, to smoke if you want, to grace your house with presence, with this beautiful energy. And uh, as I had mentioned before, uh, the healing plants work in the, in the spectrum of the seven colors, in, in the full spectrum. So the Damiana, I don't mind telling you, works in the spectrum of the color yellow. Remember the colors of the rainbow? You can remember it by Roy G. Biv. That's Roy, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. That's Roy G. Biv. If you take the first letter of each one of those colors, you spell out Roy, the letter G, and Biv, B-I-V. So that's how you can remember how the spectrum goes. So the Damiana is um, a yellow energy healer. So if you've got um, deficiencies that are to do with the color of yellow, which we will talk about it in another show. We have spoken about it before in color therapy. So if you are deficient in the color of ye yellow, and the way you will know is that your will is deficient. You can't really exert your own will because yellow has to do with will. Your, your uh, volition, your ability to, to act on your thoughts or, or, or your intentions. You know how there are a lot of people who um, 
they, they say something and they truly intend it when they say it, but it's very difficult for them to follow through. So the Damiana is one of those plants that you would use in energy healing or in color healing to balance that, that deficiency. It, it helps you follow through on your intentions. Whether it's uh, something on a very small level, like just getting up early in time or just um, sticking to some kind of determination that you've made or living up to your own word. So any of those things, if you find those things to be a common in your lifestyle, it's good to uh, bond with the Damiana plant because that's the kind of wisdom that that plant brings. It brings healing and wisdom in the color yellow which enhances your will, it balances your will, so that you're able to say as you do and do as you say. And, and this is the first plant that I have been able to, to really demonstrate how the three levels, the three realms of existence include the plants. So it's the healing of body, mind, and spirit. And with the Damiana, you can see it clearly. And when it comes to spirit, it's healing in the realm of ether, in that space that, that's intangible, that we can't touch. It's, it's in the realm where, where, where the angels and the saints, the ancestors and God, it, it's all of that. It's God's territory. It's the creator's territory. And these plants heal in that, in that space between here and there. So just having the plant in your environment, just planting it in your garden, just touching it, just nurturing it, just watering it, develops a positive relationship with all of the healing aspects of that plant. Because no matter what you do, provided that the plant is in your environment, you will receive healing from it. Whether you make the tea, whether you do the tincture, whether you smoke the leaves, or whether you just have it planted in your home, whether you touch the plant, it being in your environment is enough. So it's one of those wonderful plants. There are a lot of other plants that have uh, spiritual properties, and we're going to be talking about them in other shows, but I wanted to start this feature with um, the Damiana because we all need more love in our lives. I know that there are a lot of um, couples that get tired of each other. For whatever reason, it could be the stress of work, it could be the children, it could be maybe some egotistical misunderstanding that happened some so long ago that nobody even really remembers. <laughs> the Damiana is a tea that you can both just sit down and enjoy and maybe laugh about what happened already, what's done, what's in the past. And you can willfully get over that whatever it is. On top of the fact that you have the Damiana relaxing you, pu pushing your ego to the back, calming your nerves so that you can think clearly, so that you can reason with your partner clearly. and stimulating your libido so that you can long for each other and you know finally touch each other with appreciation and love like you did when you when you first met well i know the conversation has has gone weird but i sincerely hope that you've enjoyed our educational episode on the aphrodisiac plant the damiana that we indigenous people have been using for healing body, mind, and spirit for thousands of years. It's a wonderful plant. It's a very attractive plant. It even smells pleasant. And one day we're going to be making the essential oil of Damiana. And we can share that with you as well. Well, it's been really nice talking to you. I really look forward to speaking to you again. This is Arzu Mountain Spirit. You have been listening to Mountain Spirit Speaks, and we remain the radio show that cares about your natural health and the healing powers 
inherent in nature. Hit me up on Facebook. Join our group, Mountain Spirit Speaks. I look forward to hearing from you very soon. Signing off, Arzu Mountain Spirit. Much love. Bye.